tries to become the second pitcher in big league history, regardless of team, to start a career with five consecutive starts, at least five innings, zero or one run allowed. The only guy that's done that, Fernando Valenzuela, those first five starts of the 1981 season. And we're ready for baseball now. Bobby Miller on the mound, the right-hander. Lamont Wade Jr. in the batter's box. Here's a ball hit down off the foot of Lamont Wade. So that, that, that makes you nervous just considering how difficult of a week this has been for the Giants health. I mean, it's amazing. Two more players go on the injury list today. John Brebbia and also Wilmer Flores and, and Lamont's hurting. No good. No. So Lamont still a little gingerly making his way back toward home plate. Wade tried to check a swing on a pitch inside. He went around according to third base umpire Nate Tomlinson. Wade has been struck out and we are underway. So here comes Jock Peterson left handed hitter. That went way outside. So Jock Peterson draws the walk. Giants have a runner here in the top of the first inning. Tyro Estrada stepping in at 295 with nine home runs 28 runs batted in. Grounded slowly to third. Bush picks it up behind the bag. Throws to first. Estrada is out. Peterson goes to second. Two gone. Nice job being able to run in on this. Knew the time that he had. Thrown off the front foot. Strike right over to Freddie Freeman. Giants trying to strike first. So now runner at third. Two down. Conforto comes up. Here's a high fly ball to right center field. Betts and DeLuca going back. DeLuca makes a catch. And crashes into the wall. Rookies all over the place. Scoreless first inning. And they'll face the Giants lefty. Coming off the injury list. He's been on the injury list two different times this year. Alex Wood will make his eighth start of the year. He hasn't pitched since May 31st. Betts leading it off with a 10-game hitting streak. And he swings and misses. Good sharp slider. Breaking down and in under his hands. Strike three. So after falling behind him 2-0, oh, Wood comes first back to strike him out. Here's Freddie Freeman. Freeman at 325. Freeman to center field. Matos all the way onto the warning track. That ball carried well, but he made the play. Yeah, ball going to carry a little bit better tonight than it did last night. We were an hour earlier, a little bit warmer. Will had three walks in yesterday's game, and over his last four games, a 600 on base. Ground ball to third. Over to his left. Schmidt's got it. Here's the throw to first. In time. Inning over. Three up and three down. Scoreless game here in perfectly sunny L.A. Bobby Miller goes back to work. Pickoff. Oh, that hit. Machos, you got to throw to somebody who's at the bag. And now in this scoreless game, the Dodgers bring the infield in for Brandon Crawford. Crawford muscles one. Base hit for the first run of the game. And the scoreless streak has come to an end at 20 and a third innings for Bobby Miller. Giants one, Dodgers nothing. This is something that Bobby's worked hard at getting better at. He, he said if he didn't get better at harnessing his emotions, it probably was going to be something that ruined his career. And when things start to go sideways, making sure they don't completely go off the rails. Getting tested in that regard here. Run in the bank, two runners aboard, and the top of the order coming up with Wade. Well, Wade Jr. He hit, hits one high and deep to right field. On its way. Adios, Pelota. It is a four run inning. So Bobby Miller, who has been almost untouchable in his young big league career, the Giants are touching him here. That's big first out for Bobby Miller. Both runners have to hold. So now Crawford will come up. Bloop single to right to knock in the first run of the game. And here's another bloop falling falling in there base hit Yastrzemski read it as a hit all the way comes tearing around third five nothing Giants Miller's night appears to be over the worst game so far for Miller because all of his games have been great until tonight chance to break this game open they leave five nothing bases loaded two down and a good matchup here JD against a left-hander Vessia he swing here and he drives one into center field deep DeLuca back. He looks up. Goodbye. And that is a grand slam. And the Giants have broken it open here. Nine to nothing Giants. J.D. Davis said he was able to run about 80% in drills before the game. But he's hitting for the D.H. So he won't be having to field any ground balls in this one. Fordo leads off the seventh by reaching base. Luis Matos coming up. And he had a hard ground ball. That one is a fair ball. 
Bush quick release to first another tough play and Hayward couldn't scoop that one. And both of them he's gone out to backhand the ball and he's had time enough to stay back and get a better hop. But this is not a position that he plays all the time. Bailey batting left handed two men on and one man out. That one is lined into right center field. Bailey's got his first hit and this one's going to roll for a while. Sable will fly around third and scored. Here comes Matos. Helmet comes off. Matos slides in awkwardly but safely and scores the run. It's 11 nothing Giants on the double by Patrick Bailey. That ball was hit extremely hard. That's a line drive off the bat of Bailey and then check out the runners. Halberg just sending them. Next time just slide in normally. That would be my personal recommendation. <laughs> Dad. Are we there yet? Show of hands, the volunteer position player to pitch. Wade, a little flip shot into left, another hit for the Giants, and another run. So Lamont's having a big night. It is 12 nothing. Well, Lamont's not going to want to come out of this game with the way he's swinging the bat. Well, Tristan Beck is one out away from securing a save in a 15 to nothing game. Vargas 0 for 3. A pop up should be a zero. Wade will make the call and the catch. The ball game is over. And for Giants fans, enjoy this one. This doesn't happen very often. Giants come to Dodger Stadium and win by the final score of 15 to nothing. The largest margin of victory in a shutout all time for the Giants. Yeah, go go back to 1962. That's when Dodger Stadium opened, and the second largest margin of victory overall in this ballpark for the Giants against the Dodgers. Wow. wow.